Yamaha introduced a robot named Motobot, capable of riding a motorcycle at the 44th Tokyo Motor Show. Motobot is not only capable of handling a regular stock motorcycle, but also a powerful model, the 2015 Yamaha YZF R1M Leader Class Sports Bike. The Motobot robot uses all essential motorcycle controls and can accelerate, brake, shift gears, and make turns. The initial version of Motobot reaches speeds of up to 100 km per hour, with the company planning to further develop the project to achieve speeds exceeding 200 km per hour without additional structures. Yamaha has been working on creating a robot capable of handling stock motorcycles on the track for several years. While details about Motobot are scarce, it is mentioned that riding a motorcycle at high speeds requires the coordinated operation of numerous complex and precision systems. The company's research aims not to replace human riders with robots, but to develop an assistance system for riders, similar to common driver assistance systems integrated into modern automobiles. However, considering the advancements in robotics, the company might contemplate creating a versatile humanoid robot to transport people in the near future. Here is a female robot welcoming visitors to a department store in Tokyo. Robots serving humans have been around for several years, and this humanoid robot, named Aiko Chihira, developed by Toshiba, has been employed at the Mitsukoshi department store in Tokyo. Aiko closely resembles a human, with 43 moving mechanisms allowing her to rotate her eyes, head, and arms. However, she doesn't walk, and functions solely as a stationary information desk. The robot can recognize human language and respond to questions in both English and Japanese. The department store management believes that the female robot is an effective tool for attracting customers. Aiko is dressed in a traditional vibrant Japanese kimono, and at first glance, it's challenging to distinguish her from a regular woman. Aiko has neatly arranged dark hair and light-toned silicone skin. She can blink, squint her eyes, move her lips, and open her mouth when speaking, essentially displaying almost the entire range of human emotions. Looking at her, it's genuinely challenging to discern whether she's a robot or a living person. After all, this humanoid robot looks remarkably similar to us. The Arisa humanoid robot receptionist was demonstrated during the International Robot Exhibition 2017. Arisa is a six-foot-tall humanoid that comes with a touchscreen monitor that will offer tourists directions and information, pose for selfies or even dance for them. She can speak English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Arisa's main goal was to work in subway stations, showing passengers directions to restrooms and lockers, suggesting public transportation routes, and recommending tourist attractions in the area. The artificial intelligence system can understand passengers' questions. When asked about transfers or about details of the station premises, Arisa can answer vocally and visually through a display behind the robot. Arisa has an entertainment feature that responds to chatter and dances. According to the developer company Aruzi Gaming Technologies, the developer Development started with the idea of creating a casino dealer robot, so it is equipped with features that make users feel at home. However, the entertainment function is auxiliary, and the main function of Arisa is to provide transfer information, information about stores and special offers in shopping centers at stations, and other information through dialogue and touchscreen display. Inventors have developed a creepy head for interacting with ChatGPT. At the CES 2024 exhibition, they unveiled the invention called WeHead, designed for communication with the artificial intelligence chatbot ChatGPT. The new device resembles a robotic head on a stand, equipped with multiple overlapping screens displaying an animated image with a human face. On its website, the WeHead developer describes the device as an embodiment of large language models that aids in brainstorming, decision-making, and self-reflection, suggesting its use as a conversation partner. Before CES 2024 exhibition, WeHead representatives conducted a demonstration, advising users to talk to the device as if it were their friend. The device generated responses to user questions and remarks using GPT, a large language model. This 3D communication head for interacting with a chatbot is already available for purchase at an impressive $4,950. However, journalists note that it does not work quite correctly. Sometimes letters are suddenly displayed on the screen in addition to the image of the face. Kirobo Mini is a small companion robot created by Japanese engineers. This robot is a miniature version of the original Kirobo, designed to work on the International Space Station. Kirobo Mini is designed for human interaction, equipped with artificial intelligence, and capable of recognizing voice and emotions. Its purpose is to serve as a companion for people. Developed by Toyota, this robot represents one of the research directions in robotics aimed at creating technologies for human-robot interaction in everyday life. Standing at approximately 10 centimeters tall, Kirobo Mini has been designed in a compact and portable format, ensuring convenience for users when on the move. While not intended for complex tasks, Kirobo Mini demonstrates progress in robotics, with the goal of creating more interactive and emotionally responsive robotic companions for people. 
This project reflects current efforts towards integrating robots into everyday life, fostering a closer connection between humans and technology. Robugtix T8X is a spider robot created by the company Robugtix. The T8X model is known for its lifelike movements and detailed design, resembling the anatomy and behavior of real spiders. It features high-quality engineering and is often used for educational purposes, research, and entertainment. The robot is controlled via Wi-Fi from a smartphone or tablet, with no option to use a physical Robugtix controller. The robot's design allows for precise control of each leg, providing a wide range of movements and making it a versatile platform for experimenting with robotics and programming. The robot has 26 servo motors and a Bigfoot robotics engine. For instance, you can command the robot to move forward with a specified speed, and the Bigfoot will autonomously carry out tasks such as inverse kinematics, leg trajectory planning, leg gait coordination, and motor control. Mindar is an android monk robot created in Japan and unveiled at the Kodaiji Temple in Kyoto. Its appearance represents a modern interpretation of the Bodhisattva canon, a deity in Buddhism. With artificial intelligence, Mindar can engage in discussions on spiritual and philosophical topics with temple visitors. The purpose of Mindar is to introduce a contemporary approach to spiritual practice by blending traditional religious elements with cutting-edge robotics. A robot standing at 195 centimeters tall and weighing 60 kilograms features a silicone face, shoulders, and arms that resemble human skin, although this material is not applied to other parts of its metallic body. Its gentle facial expression is accompanied by a smile, stretching the corners of its mouth. The robot can raise and lower its hands, move its head, and deliver speeches. Its creation was part of a research project exploring the interaction between technology and religion in modern society. Piaggio, an automotive company with a keen interest in robotics, has unveiled a small cargo robot capable of following its owner. The company announced the release of its second cargo robot named Gitamini, which is available for purchase at $1,850. Piaggio's Gitamini features two large wheels, a spacious storage compartment that can be locked, and a computer vision system allowing the robot to identify its owner. The robot can carry a load of up to 9 kilograms, weighing 12.7 kilograms itself, and can cover a distance of 34 kilometers without recharging. However, the key feature of the Gitamini robot is its autonomy. It doesn't require direct control. Using computer vision, the robot autonomously follows its owner, overcoming obstacles with its two large wheels, along with numerous sensors and cameras. The robot also comes equipped with radar. Aside from the luggage compartment lock, no anti-theft systems are provided. The only drawback is stairs. Gitamini is unable to navigate them, requiring the owner to carry it manually. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. We hope you find something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.